So the new It film came out the other day, and um, I have to say that I've been a big fan of this movie since I was a kid. My brother and I used to sneak in, and uh, first of all, my dad bought it for us, which I can't thank him enough because of the fact that if it wasn't for him buying us that movie when we were like, what, five, four or five, we, would, we wouldn't be the biggest fans, and this wouldn't have been made because it would just be another horror movie character. Um, so, since we were little, we used to sneak, because my mom was pissed whenever she found out that my dad got it for us, so she hid it from us, but we weren't stupid, because we knew where she hid all our birthday and Christmas presents, so we would sneak in there and, uh, get it, and go back into our room and watch it all, the whole miniseries, the first part and the shitty second part. So, the first one came out. It took me a minute to figure out if I liked it or not, and uh, actually it took me a night. I had to sleep on it to figure out, to to realize that I did like it. It wasn't exactly what I expected it to be, but I was impressed, and I was happy how they portrayed this movie, or how they remake, well it's not even a remake, it's based on the book. So um, yeah, I was making this figure in the process for my brother, because he's the only other person I know in this world that is is a bigger fan of this movie than or of this story than I am so without further ado let me show you the Tim Curry Pennywise who will always be the only Pennywise in my opinion and there he is in all his creepy glory holy shit this took a minute um, the body and the vest is from a bunny battle pack with Adam Rose which if you don't know wrestling or anything like that it's a it was a tag team and uh, it's rest it's a wrestling figure for those of you who know that it's a wrestling figure my hat goes off to you but yeah the vest and the arms and of course the body what is from the bunny figure with Adam Rose um, Jesus Christ okay the uh, the head is a doink the clown and I added a shit ton of sculpting work on the head just to make it fatter at the top and longer. And then the hair is, um, at first I molded it. I molded it out of one of the uh, Doink the Clown hair pieces it came with, um, which is also a wrestler, for those of you who don't know. And um, the, uh, whatever those things are right here, sorry I'm having to hold this camera. Whatever these are called, I molded those on there, which is three layers. It's one, and then the second one, and then finally the third goes all the way around. Now, I'm not completely finished with it. I want to do a little more with it, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy how this turned out, and I hope you guys like it. I'm not going to make this video too long, but this is for my brother, and, uh, yeah, this, is our, this was our childhood. It was Tim Curry. Pennywise and if not Pennywise then just Tim Curry in general with the Rocky Horror Picture Show and everything else I mean the Muppets uh, I could go on Fern Gully Wild Thornberries the dude is a genius and he's one of my favorite actors but this Pennywise will always be forever the only Pennywise in my opinion so uh real quick I'll show you the sides and the back Okay, so this is just one of the sides. Like I said, I'm not done with it yet. I still gotta file this tail off from the bunny. Um, yeah, that's the back. That's the other side. And, uh, oh, these are um, cotton, whatever they are, just little cotton balls. That Same place I got the hair from. Um, at first, I molded them on there, too, with the hair. And I'm not gonna show you that, because it looks like shit. So, I'm glad I didn't. But um, yeah, it, it turned out pretty damn good, and I can't be happier with, I was worried about the face and how I was going to do that, but it was a little time and patience and, you know, excitement for the new movie, finally did it. But uh, yeah, you guys, so this is the only other Pennywise figure they have besides the regular pop uh, Pennywise, and uh, so yeah, I based it on this, and of course, my memory bank from childhood. I'm scaring the shit out of me. 
It's the only thing that ever scared me when I was a kid. Jason, Michael Myers, Chucky, none of that shit fazed me. Um, this guy was the eater of worlds and forever the most terrifying thing. I remember I was afraid to take showers and sh I was afraid to take a shit in the toilet because of this guy. So, you know. Anyway, if you guys appreciate this, I would appreciate if you'd leave a like and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'm gonna have uh, a good bit more, a good bit of different things on here, not just wrestling customs, but I am gonna start doing more of this genre of figures. So um, thank you guys for watching this, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Peace.